Well, men are lagging behind compared to women here in Iowa when it comes to getting their COVID vaccine. Iowa's population is pretty evenly split between men and women, but more doses are going to women. Local 5's John Diaz sat down with a group of men at a barber shop in Des Moines to hear their perspectives on this. Barber shops, a place to cut hair and chew the fat. This one in Des Moines welcomed us in to talk vaccines. Were you always on board? Were you always sure? Yeah, I'm going to absolutely get this. I mean, not at first. I wasn't very sure at first. I was very skeptical at first getting it. Um, my girlfriend actually signed me up for it. A lot of my friends, they start taking it. And they asking me, when is my turn? But I'm still like, like my mind didn't change about taking the vaccine. Estaba un poquito nervioso. I was a little nervous, but I did it because I wanted to protect myself, protect my family, and protect the community. So why the nervousness and why the hesitancy? It hasn't been around that long, and I feel like it's too early. The lack of information that the Latino community has, some do not speak a lot of English, so they're lost. I read some things online about conspiracies and all that, so like that kind of like got my head wrapped around that. But after reading like, some actual facts and then my girlfriend sent me pics, like articles and stuff about it, I read more into it and it, I just thought it wouldn't hurt. Those who haven't quite taken that first step are keeping an open mind. If there's a proof that it shows like I'm not going to be beat COVID, then I will take it like any other, like any other vaccine that we've been taking every year. You think there is something that would change your mind? Time. Let's let's test it out and actually have a consistent amount of data that shows that that proves that this is working. All right, John, how big is the gap between men and women? Yeah, Stephanie, that gap is actually fairly significant. Take a look at this data from the Iowa Department of Public Health. You can see here more women are getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, they're at about 55 percent. That puts them just over 1.2 million doses. Men, on the other hand, make up that other 45 percent, which means they are getting 248,000 fewer doses than women. Stephanie. All right, John, thank you. Well, state and federal leaders are using all sorts of methods to convince people to get the vaccine. But as one Iowa State professor tells us, sometimes social media is more persuasive than science when it comes to complex topics like the vaccine. And the vaccine is just one example of the challenge of science communication. We know that cigarettes damage your health, yet people still smoke. We know exercise is beneficial for your health, but people still sit too much. And it's the same thing. We know COVID vaccines are very protective, but people are still hesitant. He says we are all individually made up of certain beliefs for the vaccine. He says if your mind isn't made up about getting the vaccine, typically people tend to lean towards real people on social media versus the facts. Uh, and once you get to this stage, facts don't matter at all because there's some underlying value system that's going to interpret whatever facts come through it in whatever side links to that identity.